Dude. Dude. Bro, where have you been? I just got this cool shot in the 360 cam. Can I see it? No. I, uh, I have yet to replay it. Do you know how to? No. Bro, Insta360 makes it so easy. How do you not know how to reframe? How? Bro, I'll do you one better. I'm not just gonna show you one way to reframe, I'm gonna show you four different ways. I got you. Welcome to the class of reframing. How did you just do that? And who are all these people? Dude, no time for questions. So there's four different ways you can reframe. Heat frames plus midpoints, viewfinder, snap wizard, and finally, studio desktop. First, we're gonna start with key frames. And to do that, we're gonna import our footage into the Insta360 app using the album page. Then select the footage you'd like to reframe. But as you can see, this isn't the part of the image that I wanna reframe. So we can use the trim or jump cut feature. To do that, we're gonna hit trim. And as you can see here, there's trim and also jump cut. So to trim, we're gonna take the ends here. And as you can see, I'm gonna trim it to right about here is where I want it. And then we can trim the end as well. So then we'll hit the check button and that allows us to trim it. Now we can go ahead and reframe. So in order to reframe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our finger and we're gonna move around the clip and say we wanna see myself. So we're gonna put it on myself there. And we're gonna select this yellow button at the bottom, which is our keyframe button. So we're gonna click that. Then we're gonna go all the way. Then we're gonna reframe again, like so, and click the reframe button one more time. And look at that, look at that move. All through the keyframes, it's super smooth. So that's the process of reframing with keyframes. That's cool and all, but I don't really wanna do that much work. Okay, okay, I see where you're coming from. We also have Viewfinder and Snap Wizard that may be up your alley. So Viewfinder mode and Snap Wizard are really similar. So there's a few ways you can reframe with Snap Wizard. To start, we're gonna import our footage into the Insta360 app using the album feature, and then select the footage you'd like to reframe. So from there, we're gonna pause it and select Snap to the left of Edit. So we're gonna select Snap, and as you can see when you're on Snap, you can see how it's moving around with how I'm moving, as you can see to the right here. Then we're gonna hold this record looking button, and then from there, we're gonna be live reframing. As you can see, I'm doing a little spin a -roo. Say I wanna look down, I can see what we're doing there. And I can stop, and as you can see, it created a clip here. And it did the exact same movement that we had. We can also switch to perspective slash field of view using this right slider here. Go all the way to Tiny World, and we can also zoom all the way into this tree. Okay, let's try to make another clip. As you can see, we hit the record button, and now we are live reframing again. They want to look all the way up into the sky and come down to me, as you can see, like that. And that ends our move. I really enjoy reframing using Snap Wizard, but let's get down to Viewfinder mode. So with Viewfinder, it allows you to reframe in the eye of the viewer. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down our image and then slide up the Viewfinder, and this is going to start our reframing with Viewfinder. So as you can see, there is a little record button and then a little bit of a slider. So what the slider allows you to do is to adjust the field of view while you're reframing. All right, let's get started reframing with Viewfinder. We're going to select that record button. As you can see, we're going to want to hold down, and that allows us to record as our video is going. And then now we're going to slide down on that slider, and as you can see, it's adjusting the field of view. And that's why I love Snap Wizard and Viewfinder mode, because you're able to adjust the field of view in the eye of the viewer while reframing. That's awesome, but what if I wanted to use my computer? Well, that's where Studio Desktop comes into play. So reframing with Studio Desktops allows you to have more advanced reframing techniques. This allows you to have more precise editing techniques and also more control over your footage. Wow, there really is a lot of choices when it comes to reframing Insta360 footage. That's very true. But you see, if you don't want to reframe or you just don't have time to reframe, you can use Mimo, which allows you to skip the process of reframing and the selfie stick will still be invisible. Or you can use Auto Frame, which implements Insta360 60s AI technology, which reframes the video by itself without you doing any work. Bro, why didn't you just tell me that from the start? Oh man, it looks like we're just out of time. I, I really apologize. Um, but that's it for this video. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I will see you guys next time.